Oh. Hi everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna be a quick review of the kit that I bought yesterday. This one, Bandai HG ARX, ARX 7 with the XL2, sort of like a jackpot booster. Uh, the finish building the snapping together the kit. It, it was an excellent kit, right? There were lots of details and the part separation was incredible. I mean, just the shoulders alone, right? You have like easily more than 10 parts, I think. Yeah. So a lot of uh, part separation, very detailed. The model is very detailed as you can see, right? You can see, look at the lines and all that. A lot of fine details for such a small kit. Uh, it's HG size, so if you are used to Gunpla, it's HG size kit. Although uh, this kit is from the Full Metal Panic series, it's a 1 over 60 scale, so it's equivalent to a Gunpla 144 scale figure. Okay. Uh, like I said, lots of parts. Articulation is extremely good. You can pose it in many different uh, posable format. Uh, if you remove the booster pack, you can really pose it in a lot of uh, sort of like dynamic poses. Okay, uh, the kit comes with a stand. Comes with this stand as well. Uh, and uh, there are a couple of weapons uh, available. One is the sort of like shotgun type weapon. Then you have this gun here. They also give you a, a mini sword, mini knife. Okay, they give you a knife with a holster that you can put to the back to replace that shotgun. Okay, uh, you have a couple of hands, the one gripping weapons as well as the open arms, uh, open hand. Okay, these are interchangeable as well. You can close it, remove these two packs, and you can close it down. Uh, and what else? Uh, if you remove the pack, it's quite simple. Plug it up, okay, and then just pull it up. Just pull the figure up. Okay, very secure actually. Yeah. Okay. And give me a sec. And let me pull this up. So like this piece is replaceable with uh, this. So if you are not using the booster pack, you can have a more uh, sort of like, they call it the driver mode or something. So change this. Okay. Plug it back in. Oops, sorry. Okay, to get this, uh, do it for both sides. Yeah. So it's like this is a different mode for for this figure. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to say? Uh, you can change this. Like I said, pull this up. Oops, sorry. Pull this out. Can replace it with this, okay? And plug it in here. Uh, plug it to the side. Sorry, this you can plug it to the side. <laughs> sorry, I still have the hands there. Plug it to this side, or you can plug it to this side. Okay. So, uh, the kit will have a few extra parts. So these are the shoulders, extra shoulder bits because of repetitive runners. So you're not going to use that. Uh, extra parts as well. And on the base, right, uh, you have a lot of all these parts. Not sure what they are for. Maybe for decorating the other parts of the base or holding up some other items. Okay. And this is the sticker. Okay. 
that's it, I think. Yeah. So let me change it back to its original format. Okay. I'll be painting this uh, maybe tomorrow onwards. So lots of tiny parts to paint. I will, I will actually go as far as to say the details uh, in terms of all the lines and all that right is quite equivalent to an RG series the details yeah because I just finished building a Sazabi and the, the amount of lines and details right you look at that you can even play around with this. Right. You can open this up as well. And you can bend quite full. If you remove the gun, you can actually bend it. The head, you can tilt. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Body as well. It has this and then the upper section so you have double uh, lots of movement okay very flexible put this back in there are two pins here goes to the back two pins okay and then clamp it down Yeah, just make sure you don't lose all these small parts. Check out the details on this. Look at the part separation. Back. This piece they have like multiple pieces so you can spray each piece uh, for different shading and all that pretty incredible actually yeah good job that they did it this way even the guns look at that and the underside of the wing let me remove this underside of the wing Overall, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a good kit. Uh, very straightforward to plug in. Uh, and when you remove from the runners, right, the nut marks are extremely small, so it's very easy to clean up. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, leave your comments below, and if you have anything you'd like to ask, uh, please leave it in the comments. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.